Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about PayPal and tracking information. And more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video, and that is how do you enter tracking information into a PayPal order? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video, not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you need to enter the tracking information into an order you received in your PayPal? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're selling items online, physical items, you know that your customers want to have the tracking information. Also, it's good for record keeping in case there's a dispute in the future. Whatever the case is, is a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your PayPal app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I'm going to go ahead and open up my PayPal app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my PayPal app. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to enter the tracking information for your shipper, first you need to find the order. So for example, if you scroll down, you're going to see recent activity. Let me scroll down a little bit more. Okay, once you scroll down, you're going to look for the order. So this order right here, once you found the order, go ahead and click on the order. Okay, so once you've clicked on the order, you're going to see more details about that transaction. However, in order to add the shipper tracking information, you want to look for this button here called add tracking. It's up here towards the top left as a little truck icon next to it. Okay, so here's where you can go ahead and add the tracking information for your order on PayPal. First, what you want to do is go ahead and choose the order status for this one. We'll just put shipped. Now, if your carrier does not have tracking information, information for some reason, you're going to go ahead and notify your customer by clicking there. And as you can see, you cannot add a tracking number. So this might be something if you're using like a private carrier, but if you do have a tracking number, you can go ahead and just go ahead and enter in the tracking number here, whatever that might be. So once we entered it in, usually you want to go ahead and paste that from your carrier. Next, you want to go ahead and choose the carrier that you're going to be shipping with. So you can go ahead and just scroll through. You can see there are a lot of different carriers available here on the PayPal platform. So just make sure you choose the correct one. Uh, you can go ahead and just type in their name and then their information is going to start popping up. You can see there's various FedEx. Okay. So once you have entered in the tracking number and the carrier, you're going to click on this blue submit button here at the bottom. Okay. Now you get this confirmation. So I have successfully updated my order information with the tracking details for my shipper. They also let you know an email is automatically sent out to your customer with the tracking information. So let me go ahead and close this out. Okay. So now we're back here in the order. As you can see, that button has now disappeared and it's it's updated here in the status with the tracking information. So that way your customer can go ahead and just easily click on the blue track button and they'll be able to track their order through PayPal. Also, if there's a dispute in the future, the tracking information is logged with your PayPal payment. So you can easily submit that to PayPal if there's some sort of a dispute. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to enter tracking information into your PayPal order, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click the up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.